Hey guys, it's Curly Girl Jess, and I am back with another video. Um, as stated in my introduction vid, um, uh, this video is going to be about my hair care journey and a little bit of background about my hair's trials and tribulations, as it were. Um, so I'm going to start off with my most asked question that I have ever gotten and I probably will ever get for the rest of my life. And um, that is, I have had people so many times just walk up to me out of the blue and say, what are you? And to answer their question, and your question if you have it, I am half black and half white. And to add to that, um, I am adopted by a white family. So, um, in terms of hair care, it's been pretty kind of poor growing up. It was kind of horrible. Um, but I can't blame that on my mom because she just didn't know. I didn't know. And, um, you know, it's kind of like a learning process, I guess. Um, and I know a lot of girls are um, kind of can relate to that. Um, but to start off, um, I was always that girl that everyone came up to me and they said, ooh, Jessica's good hair. Jessica, you have such good hair. It's so pretty. It's so long. I love your hair. I wish, like, I had your hair. And I also was that girl whose mothers and grandmothers and aunts and older sisters came to my mom and was like, what are you doing to that child's hair? Like, bring her over to my house so I can do her hair properly for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I was that girl. Um, but, let's see. Start at the beginning, I guess. Um, I probably have had about five or six relaxers my entire life. Um, my first one probably was around age seven or eight. Um, when I was 11, I had a really, really bad relaxer that resulted in um, the relaxer staying on too long. Um, and I had really bad chemical and scalp, I had bad scalp burns, sorry. Um, and it took like a year for them to heal. I still have a, a, um, a scar in my head, like right here, where it's raised. Um, yeah, after that, I never wanted to have another relaxer again. It was horrible. Um, <clears throat> when I was 17 or 18, I don't remember which, um, but when I was 17 or 18, I literally fell in love with a flat iron. Um, and that was the first time I really had my own flat iron and would do my hair. And I would flatten iron my hair every week after I washed it. So I would blow dry, flat iron, touch up during the week. No heat protectant. No, like, deep conditioning or moisturizing my hair ever. It just, it was horrible. And, um... I ended up going to get a trim because I knew you need to trim your hair and I never have gotten my hair trimmed on a regular basis. So I was like, I need to go get my hair trimmed. So I went to a just a regular salon um, and um, the girl trimmed my hair and she was like, you know, your hair is kind of like really in bad shape. It's dry. I had edges that were thinning um, and it was just not in good shape. So that was like in July, I want to say 2007, maybe, um, 2007 or 2008, maybe, um, and so I went to YouTube looking for videos about girls giving advice about, um, damaged hair, and I came across this girl and her YouTube screen name is Mashari Hair. And I was very impressed with her videos. She seemed very knowledgeable. And, um, you know, and she's, I was like, wow, she, she knows a lot about black hair care. So in her info box, um, she had a link to her website. So I clicked on the link and went to her website and saw that she had a hair care form up. And as soon as I clicked on it and read through, like, the first welcome box, I was just, like, astounded. And all of these women on this hair care form, which, um, by the way, is healthytextures.com. Um, 
all these women and giving like their own advice and their personal experience about hair. Um, and it just, it was amazing to me. So sure enough, that night I signed up, joined, and then there became, or like began my, um, hair care journey. So right from the get go, I'm sure any of you who have been in that situation where you first joined like a hair care forum and you're just bombarded by all of this stuff about forming a regimen, protein um, regimens, moisture regimens, you know, all this stuff that you need to be doing for your hair to keep it healthy. Um, and sure enough, the product junkiness for me set in about the second week being joined to this site. And I'm sure some of you have experienced that. But, um, after about being six, seven months on that site, I kind of had a handle and had my own regimen and my hair was um, growing and it was healthier and I could definitely tell a difference. Um, after that time period, she um, decided to move on and make it a pay site. So unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to join just because I don't have the funds for it. So I went with a gaggle of girls from Healthy Textures over to hairlovebugs.ning.com and I'll put the um, links to both of them down in the, in the info bar. Um, but that um, Hair Love Bugs is headed by Kina Brewer who is a girl on Healthy Textures um, and again it's just a forum full of wonderful advice, um, women who are supportive and if you have a question I guarantee if you search through you'll find it and if it's not there if you put up a blog post and ask a question it'll be answered um, and it's just it's a really good place to learn and start your hair care journey so I guess that brings us to now and hello Bella it's my cat um, so I think in my last video said I've been on my hair care journey for two years, but now thinking on it, if I started in July of 07, which I think I did, I'm pretty sure, actually it'll probably be almost three years now, um, this July, so three years, um, but anyway, um, I did fall off a little bit, um, I still was taking care of my hair, I just wasn't as into it as I previously was. So about three weeks ago, I kind of, you know, snapped myself up and I was like, you, you just got to take care of your hair. Um, and I knew that I wanted to change and I knew to do that, I just went and needed to go get a haircut. So I found a salon that was close to me and it's actually a multiracial salon. They deal with all types of hair, which I like that because I had never come across a multicultural salon before. So I tried it out and, um the guy that did my hair was really nice took the time to let me explain to him what I wanted and ex like understood fully and so he cut layers in my hair um, three weeks ago my hair was bra strap length BSL um, he cut it back up to armpit length just because I needed like an inch or two inches cut off anyway um, he also thinned it which I had never had my hair thinned out before but I let him go ahead and do it anyway because I was just like eh it's hair and it grows back. So he thinned it and I actually love, love, love my hair now. But yeah, I guess I'm going to stop here. That's pretty much my, like how my hair has been and my hair care regimen to current. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Um, and I think my next video will probably be about my daily and weekly regimens, things I do. And um, Again, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.